This video will show you how to find library resources for your British Literature 1 assignment. When you're getting started with any research project, let your assignment be your guide. You need to find 8 to 10 sources on a literary work or a historical time period. Using library databases will save you time with your research. You will find the full text of articles with credible information, avoid paywalls, and have access to citation tools. The information that you find through databases is information that is not freely available on the web. You will find articles and other sources written by scholars and experts in the field. As you advance through your college career, you are asked to find information in scholarly journals and academic books. These sources take longer to produce and are not published as frequently as newspapers and magazines. They go through a long review process. You may have heard the term peer review before. This occurs when a panel of experts in the field review and edit an article or book before it is published. Authors of these types of sources cite material from other scholars and contribute their own ideas, just as you do when you complete research assignments. Scholarly books and journals will often have between 15 and 30 citations. A magazine like People, for example, might have two or less. Scholarly sources are more reliable due to their editing process and research, and that makes them a better choice for college assignments. To get started, click on the Library Resources link in your Canvas course. Click on the drop-down menu for Specialty Criticism and select British Literature. The database you will search will depend on your topic, and this video will look at both a literary criticism database and a history database. Remember to use keywords, important words that make up your topic, to search. In this case, your keywords to start will be the work title or the historical time period. No capital letters necessary. If you type a question into a database the way we do with Google, you will not produce many results. I know this from experience, so keywords will save you time. When you are accessing Massasoit's database from off campus, you will be prompted to enter your Massasoit username and password. Let's begin with finding critical sources for a literary work. The best place to start is our literary criticism database called Artemis. Type in the title of the literary work. You will see a list of search suggestions as you type. You do not have to choose one of these options for your search. They are there for ideas. A search for Sir Gawain and the Green Knight produced 455 results, a huge number. This will depend on the literary work that you're searching for. Some may have lots of articles and some may have fewer. You may have to scan through several pages of results before you find an article that you feel would suit your research needs. Databases are different from Google in this way. With Google, you might give up looking after the first page of search results. Databases will have relevant search results for many more pages. If you want to narrow your topic a bit, use the Search Within option on the right side of the page. For example, you could search for a work and a theme so that you only see articles that mention both the work and that theme. Click on an article to see the full text and helpful tools. All articles have a translating tool as well as a listening option. At the top of the page you will see a selection of tools. The first looks like quotation marks. This is the citation tool. Here you will find an MLA citation that you can copy and paste into your bibliography. You will also see a tool that looks like a paper airplane. This tool gives you the option of sending articles to your email or to your Google Drive account. This is a helpful option as your articles will all be in one place when you go to put your bibliography together. All articles that you email or send to Google Drive will also include the MLA citation. If you are looking for information on a historical time period, search World History. Type the time period you are searching for into the search box. I did a search for High Medieval. At the top of your search results, you will see a variety of source types. You will want to primarily look at the academic journals in reference. Click on an article to see the full text and helpful tools. Every article in World History will have a Listen option as well as a Translate option. At the top of the page, you will see the tool that looks like quotation marks. This is the Cite tool, and here you will find your MLA citation that you can copy and paste into your bibliography. There's also the tool that looks like the paper airplane. Again, this is the Send To tool, and this will allow you to send articles to Google Drive or your email. Research is a process, and you may have to try multiple searches and keywords to find the best results. Librarians are here to help you at any point. You can send us a question via instant message through our chat box. You can find this on the home page of your library resources guide through Canvas. Chat is available from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. You can also send us an email, a text, 
or request a Zoom meeting. Good luck and happy searching.